हेलो फ्रेंड ग्रीटिंग्स आई एम संदीप कुमार सिंह एंड आई एम प्लानिंग टू मेक अ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन द ओरेकल डेटा बेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन थिंग्स इन टू ब्रीफ सो आई विल नॉट टेक मच लॉन्गर एंड टू मच डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन द डेटा बेस सो आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इन अ ब्रीफ हाउ टू मैनेज एंड ऑल द टॉपिक्स ऑफ द डेटा बेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पार्ट so basically this uh, tutorial it's uh, is uh, dedicated to all our techy and database friends so in my today topic i will uh, discuss uh, database introduction and uh, the processing of uh, oracle database how oracle database works and uh, unix kernel what is the scope of uh, unix kernel into the database and how oracle database processes is dependent on the unix kernel so why because uh, in uh, most of the environment uh, companies prefer to have oracle database on unix flavored environment it may be uh, linux red hat ubuntu or uh, solaris or ibm aix or hp evx so let's uh, start with our topic uh, that is introduction to database so if we talk about the basic definition of the database so database is a collection of logically related data on persistent storage it means uh, database is uh, is a storage where we are storing our data that has some sense that has some meaning and also that data should be saved for future use it should not be auto erasable it what it means if we are storing our data so we can use that data for our benefit in future also again what is logically related data in that definition logically related means any data or information known as logical related database which is meaningful if we are storing some data into the database and that don't have any uh, meaning that don't has uh, any sense so it could never be a database it could never be a informations for us it, it could never benefit to the organizations so this data should make some sense and benefit to the organizations and justify the storage and managing cost it means uh, if a company is having the database it means company is uh, wasting the millions uh, dollar into it the management cost it means the company is hiring dba to manage that paying a good amount to the dba and purchase the storage space to store the database again uh, paying the good uh, amount uh, to vendor storage vendor so these co cost involves uh, into the managing database so that's why data should have some sense and some benefit to the organization so that it can justify the organizational cost again what is the dbms dbms is just not, not, uh, nothing it is just a software through which we can manage a database as a name database db database ms management system or management software so there are many software available in a market uh, that allow us to manage our company database that is oracle ms sql server mysql hadoop ms sql cassandra teradata ms access so many so overall uh, uh, if uh, i say 60 to 70 databases registered database in market is currently running but 50 to 55% market is uh, captured by the oracle so we can say yes uh, there is a good career opportunity if we are having the oracle of course now oracle is also changing their paradigm to manage the database uh, before it was only like on premises but now oracle offering the on cloud also so with this knowledge also uh, we should upgrade ourselves uh, time to time like uh, the basic database and then basic unix administration and then excel data administration and then cloud there so many things that we can learn to have a good career path uh, into the it market now uh, we will explain the rdbms rdbms is just uh, nothing just uh, r before the dbms as we know dbms is a database management system and r uh, is stand for relational so rdbms stands for relational database management system rdbms data is structured in a database table field and record each rdbms table consists of the database table row each database table row consists of one or more database table fields so simply 
database as i told it could be anything so where we are storing our data that we can use in future even if uh, at the context level if we say that notepad excel word is also a database but if we talk about the rdbms and dbms then it's a software which has their data into the tabular format what is the table what is the tabular format so if so if the record is stored in the column and row format if i say the row row means something like a complete information of one uh, one uh, entity or one people suppose any company is having uh, uh, its database and uh, uh the employee is uh, as an assets to the company so suppose company having the database and in the database there is a one table for employee so suppose i am a person i am a employee so my name my address my salary my department my joining date my uh, exit date everything is stored in one row so one information is one row so that is the row and column suppose company is having 1 million employees so the name only name of all the employees is a one column so one complete information horizontal one horizontal value is a row and one vertical i mean one one only one column one field of that employee is a column you can see we have sql as uh, structured query language to operate the rdbms software so suppose we are storing our database into the rdbms system so there should with some tools that we can use to query the data as per our requirement suppose we have created a database where there is a employee table and we have million of the row but my hr ask to give the only informations of that particular employee so how we can get only that particular uh, value so there should be some tools so that tools in a database is a sql that is a structured query language one step ahead oracle introduced the word ordbms so now oracle is saying what the rdbms is basically we are having is a ordbms means object Rela relational database management system same as c++ introduced the new era in a development language to minimize the work and achieve the good outcome of programming uh, if who is from uh, development background they must know in a c++ Uh, there is a object if we can create some object and that object we can call in one or more uh, packages and procedures so the object is only one the programming we have done only one only we are just passing that value to some other procedure and the same function same programming we are utilizing here same into the oracle oracle treat all of its belongings as a object table view sequence synonyms index trigger procedure function everything as a object so suppose oracle has one table in one user some user suppose hr user one table and if other user want to use that table so it is not required to again uh, the, that user should create uh, a new table the same table the next user can use if the dba granted the permissions so the same table can be used by any of the user into the database so that's why uh, it's ordbms oracle uh, object uh, relational database management system oracle survey Arch server architecture so before moving into the detail of oracle server architecture i would like to just uh, give a brief uh, about how the software works oracle is nothing like nothing extra it's 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 like other simple software as well so here we can take a example of the blc so when we install the blc basically we install the blc to play our video to play our movies so just an example suppose we have a a, a video size of 2 gb and we have a laptop with 500 mb ram so just think how this 2 gb video is uh, we are uh, able to play into our laptop of 500 mb the ram is very less it's 500 but video is 2 gb how so why because when we install the blc blc took some space into the ram if you install and go to control panel you will see that some mb is taken by the blc uh, software it means that much amount it will take into the ram when we will run the video so it will take the data from that uh, video files 
buffer into the RAM into only that much space uh, space which has been taken by the VLC and display and again purge the old data and buffer the new data so it this process is very consistent so that we never feel that something is happening but yes it's buffering the data into the RAM displaying and again clearing that old data and buffering new like that so there is a three things into this process what is the buffering what the movie is running into the uh, on the laptop on the RAM is is the space occupied by the VLC into the RAM to buffer the movie and uh, run the movie and background process which is supporting these things moving data from uh, hardware uh, I, mean, I mean from disk to the RAM to display us and the movie itself which is stored on the hard disk so similarly in the Oracle as well there is a three process first is a on RAM so that we can say SGA and PGA SGA stand for shared global area and PGA stand for uh, personal global area or programming uh, uh, global area so and second part is the background processes which support to call the database from storage from hard disk to the RAM so that client can access and the third part is Oracle database itself which is stored on the hard disk correct now uh, next is unix kernel so unix kernel play the wide uh, role uh, into the database administration and database optimization and database tuning as uh, per the industry requirement so here i am just giving some brief some uh, most important parameter which uh, has some effect for database administration on unix operating system but yes this this is uh, this always changed as per our requirement and as per our oracle database version and unix flavor version so here some parameter like uh, shm max so this is basically the maximum size in a byte uh, uh, you can see here the default default value is specified so this is the maximum size in a byte of a single shared memory segment i mean a single uh, shared segment uh, how much a single shared segment could be extended for the for what size so for the best performance it should be the large enough to hold the entire SGA suppose we are giving the database SGA size uh, on the RAM how much uh, space in RAM uh, RAM database could occupy to operate so that should be the um, uh, size for the SHM max SHM min the minimum size in byte of a single shared memory segment what should be the minimum size of any segment that could be created into the RAM for the database administration SHM seg the maximum number of the shared memory so how much uh, total uh, shared segment could be created into the operating system by a single process that uh, this by this parameter we can define SHM MNI this determines how many shared memory segment can be on the system total uh, the count of total number of the shared segment on the system and SHM MNS the amount of shared memory that can be allocated to system wide so by default is null if uh, Oracle recommends and our RP2 have some recommendations from the expert that we can set also so this was the first basic topic of the Oracle please keep watching for the next tutorial and do subscribe our channel thank you so much